What is going on, y'all? I'm Cam Best, and I'm here to talk to you about this twist on a Sarah control deck that I have been using to rank up in Marvel Snap. As I'm making this video, I'm currently ranked 190. The last few ranks uh, I have gained all with this deck, uh, half on stream, half off. I'll put my stats uh, in the video here. Hopefully my editor can make it like spiral in here. I think this deck is insane. It is one of my favorite decks I've played this season. I am a huge fan of playing Sarah control decks, and this is my favorite build of it so far. The main highlights here are that I built to have outs to Sandman. So Jeff, for those who don't know, can be played through Sandman. So you can play, for example, they Sandman on four, your turn five is Polaris plus Jeff. You can do that. Now, if you don't have Jeff, you can play Lizard, but we're going to go through some other substitutes here uh, and just generally run through how the deck plays before jumping into the footage. So the other thing you may notice is that I am running Leader in here. Nobody on Earth plays around this card in Sarah right now, and that is the best time to play leader, is when your opponent is like, oh, well, I beat the normal stuff Sarah does with my Magneto or whatever, and you just leader it. It's also there for Sandman, because again, like you want to copy their big thing on the final turn. You need to be able to go as big as them. Leader helps you do that, so if they just like play a big unit, a Devil Dinosaur, for example, and if your hand is full from all your Sentinels, you can pull that out as well. Other things that I wanted to include for the Sandman matchup specifically, I, I can't figure out how to make this work, but I want Iceman in this list. And the reason Iceman is not currently in this list is because I am running this Nova Killmonger package and I feel like running Iceman, your points really matter in a deck like this. You are very limited in terms of your raw point value. And so running Iceman and having it die to Killmonger is, is hard for me to do, especially when Nova helps your raw point value so much. Now, other things you might notice in this deck, Hitmonkey is usually the biggest unit you have, but you can't be afraid, especially in a Sandman matchup, to go Hitmonkey and Mysterio on turn four. Other play tips you should know about Hitmonkey, you do not have to play him first, or you do not have to play him last, I should say. You can play Hitmonkey and then a Killmonger blowing up a Nova. The Hitmonkey will still get the credit for the Killmonger at, on itself. Uh, that's definitely something that I think a lot of players might stumble over. It's definitely something I find myself stumbling over and then having to remind myself, oh wait, that actually works. So... As far as how the deck plays out, you actually just have a ton of options. And that is the strength of the deck, is that you can usually find a way out of every possible scenario. You have a Scarlet Witch to get rid of bad locations. I have won multiple games on people filling up an Oscorp tower and then thinking they're going to give it to me. I just Scarlet Witch it. I just win the game off of that. It's it's She's just good. One thing that you do want to keep an eye out for with this deck, you don't go very tall, so you're not very good onto locations like Negative Zone that end up dragging down all the units you play there. That's usually a good target for a Scarlet Witch. And generally, just having outs to bad location RNG is a good thing to do. So, obviously, we already talked about Killmonger Nova. We already talked about Hitmonkey. We talked about Jeff as the Sandman Hedge. He's also just good into other bad location RNG. Sanctum Sanctorum, pretty damn good. Plus, you have a leader if they want Dr. Doom to get into the Sanctum Sanctorum. You have a lot of ways to get one up on people in this deck. Now, as far as Sentinel, Sentinel goes in this deck to me because there are a lot of games where your early curve lacks and you just want points on the board. If I have the choice between blindly playing a Sentinel and blindly playing a Scarlet Witch, I will take the Sentinel every single time because the Scarlet Witch has other value. And the fact that Sentinel puts another card in my hand so I don't have to play the Scarlet Witch early, that is the icing on the cake. Sentinel is a great card. I'm not saying it's the best card to run in this slot, but in this deck specifically, where your curve is a little bit higher than other Sarah decks, you are going to really feel the value of him and also you know it doesn't hurt that when you're playing a lot of sentinels if sometimes the big thing you're copying is a devil dinosaur sentinel definitely doesn't hurt there in those situations mysterio is here to partner with hit monkey but also he's just a two four he creates bodies that get buffed by the nova proc off the killmonger he's just a good card in this list you get a lot of value out of him this is a good deck for mysterio uh i noticed people are going to be talking about like why aren't you running bishop in here I personally prefer the utility of Polaris and the 
body of Polaris. She is big as hell for a three-cost card. And if, for example, you're in a matchup against Sandman, that bishop is not going to be doing a ton. This deck is definitely a deck, especially with a top end of leader, that I don't want bishop in. I don't think it's a bad call to make. Probably be the second or third thing I'd swap out for the Polaris behind maybe Maximus. We'll, we'll sort of see what other four-cost card you want to put in there. I actually thought about playing Thor for just a little bit. Now, there are the control tools uh, at four cost, Enchantress and Shang-Chi. They're great. Enchantress especially is great right now. There's so many people playing Patriot, Devil Dinosaur, Dark Hawk. Your only real worry in these matchups is Cosmo and Leech out of the Patriot decks. They will be running one of those cards usually, and you just get to absolutely ruin them if they don't draw it. If they do not protect their Patriots behind a Le uh, uh, either a Leech or a Cosmo, you're going to get them. And so for that reason, if they ever just play out a Patriot early, just Enchantress it then. Because if you Enchantress a Patriot and you have priority, they Mystique that Patriot, the Mystique does nothing, they are done, right? And you need to be able to do that. They need to play really smart to beat you, and you don't have to play really smart to beat them. I think Shang-Chi just kind of goes without saying. Uh, obviously, he's not good in every matchup, but in the ones that he's good in, he's fantastic. Sarah, the namesake of the deck, is the card that gives you so many options on turn six. You can mix and match your game plans. You can play two tech cards. You can play a leader and a sentinel. You can play uh, a tech card, a sentinel, a Mysterio, and a hit monkey. Like, there are a ton of options that you have. Your range is so high that the deck is very hard to play against. So, now that we've talked about that, let's jump into would I make any changes to the deck? And the only one I would really like, I, I already mentioned this, but I really want to reiterate it because I hope someone figures it out for me. Iceman. I really want to figure out Iceman. I want Iceman in this list. I want to have the extra ways to beat up Galactus and Sandman, even if I don't need them. Those are the only matchups I'm even a little bit worried about right now. Like, I, I want that. I want to be able to like take those matchups to like overwhelming, but right now I feel like the sacrifice of losing the Nova Killmonger is too much. If you figure out some alternate method that maintains the threat of the Killmonger, I'm all ears, but right now I think that is the only major thing I would be thinking about. There are also other ways to build this. Uh, for example, a Zabu Darkhawk type thing. I actually think that might be worth investigating with Leader as well, because, you know, against a deck like uh, Sandman, which we are trying to build to beat, you have this big Dark Hawk, and then you play, like, uh, a, a Rock Slide, and then you play, like, a Leader, and that might actually just beat them. Like, that curve might actually just beat their Sandman curve. Like, that's definitely something to be thinking about. I just don't know that this shell is the right thing to do that in. I would think maybe if you were trying to do that, you'd want to be doing it in a Dino shell. Uh, maybe something more synergistic with your Dark Hawk, with your Zabu, just a deck that just runs Zabu and not Sarah. This deck is definitely a reactive control deck. And you are going to want to know what your opponent is doing when you play it. Uh, but I have been wildly impressed with it so far. So let's jump into some gameplay. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm KM Best. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Dopamine chemicals go burr. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, what's up, Collins? Let's fucking go. If he's still playing Hella, we are like so dead. If this man is a still a Hella gamer, we are like the most dead anyone has ever been. Like, just, just extremely impossibly dead. We do not beat that. I don't have any mods in here, so I'll do a manual shout-out in a second, then zombies. Uh, shout-out zombies go nom nom, valuable member of the besties community. I hope I spelled it right. I think I did. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the fuck is happening here, Collins? What are you playing? Oh my god! X Mansion Diff? Anyone?
Anyone for some X Mansion difference? Oh my god! You get thirty with this and thirty with Iceman. I just like I am like I don't buy Iceman. I don't fucking buy it. I can't figure it out. I like I I don't even feel like it's worth testing for me. <laughs> I think it's just bad. Oh, buddy, you're about to fill that shit up, and I'm about to get a Scarlet Witch off on there. Let's go. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm giving him a bunch of fucking garbage off the off the Mind Stone. I think Nova is better too. Your points matter so much. The Iceman is really good, but I'm not allowed to snap or they know what I'm doing, right? But like they're very obviously angling for this play, and so I am gonna gonna make the opposite here. I won four cubes off someone doing this. They put like a hood, a Mysterio thing in there, and they snapped me, and I fucking snapped back and Scarlet Witch. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Let's go! Nice fucking Oscorp Tower, dude! Oh! Man. Man. I feel like they're going to try to accelerate a Professor X on me here, and I'm about to fucking get him again. Let's go, dude. Wow, no accelerated Professor X. Good for you. But you don't know where the real Mysterio is. I was thinking they would try to accelerate it because of the Avengers compound. Ah, I get it. Very, very cool. Very, very slick. You get to Professor X there. Slick, slick, slick indeed. Good, good job. You're doing cool things here. I'm into it. I could still lose, right? There's the prof. I win if I draw. Oh, there's the Nova. Too bad we can't do anything about it. So... No one plays around leader. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. New person, let's go. There are tons of good cards over the next two months. I agree. I think that's true, but I also don't know. Ooh, what the fuck? Unironic Agent 13 gamer? Hell yes, bro. 30k is cap tokens. It's actually not. Uh, you can get as high tokens as you want, as far as I know. Let's, uh... Let's drag a dude to here and then get moved to the asteroid, I think. There's nothing wrong with humble bragging. I do not believe there's anything wrong with humble bragging. Go off, king, is my... Is my that is my supposition. I have 6k, but I'm not buying anything until high Evo comes out. I mean, that's, yeah, that's reasonable. Uh, I actually just want to put this over here. I don't want to blow anything up. I just want the points here. I think high Evo might not be good, but it will be very fun. Good and fun, different things, but that's okay. I wonder if they play the Sarah. Them getting my Sarah is worrying to me because it increases their range. But, I mean, them not getting, like, like the, they want to dino the Cosmo lane, but they have so much power locked up in there that they might not be able to. Interesting. That's definitely a play you can make. That's crazy. Okay. Let's figure out how we win. We go Mysterio Sentinel. 
move Jeff here? No, keep Jeff there. Killmonger hit monkey? I don't want to snap. I'm afraid if we snap, they leave. Oh, order, order thing here, actually. Uh, hit monkey doesn't actually have to be played last. So we can go uh, hit monkey killmonger here to get the Nova buff on it. Holy shit. Did I just get clapped? I actually I actually have no idea. Our hit monkey still goes off, so I did not get clapped. But that's a hell of a play. The Killmonger doesn't go off. The hit monkey is gonna be 10 or no, the hit monkey's gonna be gonna be 10, so it's a tie and then a tiebreaker, which we win. Yeah. Close. The turning the, the moving cosmo is like a hell of a hell of a line here. When the thing is up, we don't queue into that guy. What an interesting observation. Um, all seriousness, I have no idea. I only have suspicions. And, you know, low sample size doesn't prove a goddamn thing. So I, I should be clear about that. He did not queue up. He said you're a fake. Based. Wait, I'm a fake? Like... Like, I'm one of my own imposters? Like, someone copies your name? No, that was that's me, unfortunately. But if he thinks I'm a fake, that means he's not sniping. Fair enough. Go off, king. Um... Is that, like, an ongoing destroyer deck? I am a fake. It's true. I'm a fake and a phony. Yeah, no, no Ant-Man for you, but that isn't even why I did that. I just wanted to play a card on curve. Or he's sniping and he's trying to trick you into thinking he's, yeah, it's not worth investigating. <laughs> like, straight up, it's just not worth it at this point. I'm going to keep using the thing, and uh, hopefully he won't be able to Q-snipe if he is Q-sniping me. Pretty simple. Generally, my rule for situations like this is to not give people free clout for being dicks. So if someone is doing this stuff, uh, normally my rule is I am going to specifically not care. Like, the more I say someone's name, the better that is for them. Imagine being 190 and care this much about being sniped. It has nothing to do with my rank. Just play the game, dude. You're okay. All right. You know what? I'm in a good mood, but I'm actually just going to 10-minute you for that because I fucking can. Uh, you don't get to tell me how to feel about a goddamn thing. In fact, if you want to tell me how to feel about some shit, how about you tell it to my fucking dick? I just like, what are you, don't feel bad, yeah. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> My god. <laughs> I'm like that right now, it's the 60s currently. Thanks for the 10 minutes, couldn't find your dick though. <laughs> See? See? This is how it goes, chat. They'll show up, and then they'll either be like really funny, or they'll just start throwing slurs at me. And this is a good balance, I think. Look harder. No, it really is tiny. Are the ADHD meds that unhelpful? They're not unhelpful. I just didn't like the person I was when I was on them. Which is to say, like, they will probably be very helpful for you. I fucking hate it i felt like i was just so annoying i like i i couldn't shut the fuck up and when i stopped taking oh hello galactus when i stopped taking the medication everything got better basically instantly for me in terms of social awareness but that's also like i, I can't be sure right 
because that happened at the same time as, you know, I fucking became an adult, right? So, like, whether or not those things are related, I don't really know. Maybe my brain just grew up a little bit, yeah? Who knows? If that pulls the leader, I'm out of here. It didn't. Okay. So, if they have death and null, we're fucked here. Hello, wave. I actually think we're going to pull this one out. We go leader in the... M oh, we can't go leader in the middle. Uh, they can't play anything here, though, can they? What do they think they have that beats me? They can't play anything in the middle. Things that cost four. Nothing costs four. Oh, anything that costs... I get it. So they can play something in the middle. They can. Theirs cost four. Uh, but our leader will show up there and will win? How? If it's Galactus, how they fucking beat us? I don't get it. Uh-huh. Is it a Doctor Doom? Is that what's happening to me? Oh, Kang. They're, they're Kang snapping me. That's fine. I don't know how they beat what we just did. I got no idea how they beat what we just did here. They can play one card. I'm going to make the exact same play. Oh, yes. Thank you for the reminder. This is not my Twitch. I'm making the same play. It is actually a hammer-shaped dumbbell, yes. Chat, I'm on a heater. I'm on a fucking heater. Nice Galactus deck, dude. Yeah, like, that's the other thing. It's like, even in games where you should be, you are dead to fucking rights against Galactus here, and you still are not dead to rights against Galactus here. A fucking Crimson Cosmos Sarah deck. The most educated of Collins is... Yeah, this is just what happens. You just play the same person a bunch. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just the worst. Uh... <laughs> These fucking locations, dude. That's cool. I was just going to draw rocks anyway. We're good. We, I don't mind. What? What is this? Bruh. Widow bite into mines, right? Oh, that's probably a good idea. What the fuck is his plan to win these lanes, though? Can I draw a leader? No? Okay. So, what's going on here? He just, like, plays a big guy, yeah? Where will he play the big guy is kind of just the whole game here, yeah? Destroyer? Okay, look, if he has Destroyer, you just gotta give it up to him. If he's playing Destroyer, you just gotta you just gotta be like, good job, man. Oh, 
Holy shit. What's happening? I'm scared. I'm scared for my life, chat. I'm only at 11 in the middle. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh. All right, how's my hair, chat? Good, bad? This matters.